Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we are going to be slaying another lace wig courtesy of Hair Vivi. So all of the products I'm showing you here are like your free gifts. You get a rat tail comb, you get a baby hair brush with their logo embossed, you get some clips and you also get your elastic. I love when you have elastic in your wigs, it makes it glueless. And the bonus, they even send over some face masks, which is literally like gold these days. They're so hard to get your hands on. So I was so happy and appreciative because they're all individually wrapped and safe and definitely going to be used in my household. So this is the wig here. As you guys can see, it is pre-parted. It's straight hair. I went ahead and co-washed it off camera and it is a fake scalp lace wig. So this one comes with an elastic band. You have your fake scalp. What's left of the lace is bleached. So you're literally good to go and it's going to be an extremely easy install. So one thing about their elastic, it's called Piano Keys Elastic Band. This is a new method and they give you an option to make it super adjustable so it fits super comfortable. I know sometimes when it fits exactly one size fits all, sometimes it comes up too far um, in my ear area and sometimes it goes back too far. So this gives you a little bit of versatility so you'll be able to make it fit your head perfectly. I went ahead and cut off the excess lace in the back and adjusted the straps and added my elastic. Now we are ready to install. So first step for me is to clean the area. If you are going to be bonding your wig down, you want to make sure that your scalp, your hairline is super clean. For me, I just removed another another wig and I also had makeup on. So it was important that I went ahead and cleaned the area with a little bit of alcohol. Now I am adding the elastic and you guys can see it fits nice, beautiful, and snug at the nape of my neck. And this is going to fit super glueless. Now this is one of the best wigs I've received in a while and of course I've received a lot. You guys see how I have to kind of make an effort to place the wig on my head. It fits perfectly glueless. It fits super snug around the front and the back of my head. So this wig is not going anywhere. This wig is literally goals. They went ahead and plucked the hairline for you. So this is kind of a peek at what it looks like. I'd highly recommend that you customize it, you know, a little bit more if you choose to. I always recommend that you customize your wigs to your liking. Again, I went ahead and co-washed mine, but again, I did not have to bleach the knots or tint the lace or anything like that. It was literally ready to go. So I kept with that same effect and kind of just made it an easy install and I did not pluck out the hairline. And you guys can see how flat the wig and the lace lay on my hairline so of course I can wear it glueless and you guys can see whenever I pulled and cut the lace back the wig still remains flat because again it's glueless I can't preach that enough because so many wigs do come with elastic and you'll still have to bond it down in order for it to you know fit that way I'm a creature of habit so you're gonna see my quick and easy method of how I just add a little bit of an adhesive um, a non glue adhesive at that just at the very front and center that way you know sometimes you may find that a wig may slide back or if you have kids like I do and they kind of tug and tug you kind of want to just add a little extra reassurance if that's what you're used to doing but you do not have to bond your wig down ear to ear because it's gonna sit nicely now with the elastic I like how um, it makes it so that you really don't have any baby hair around the um, ear tab. If you take off the elastic, you'll have that baby hair area. But kind of the way it pulls the wig back to sit flat on your head, it kind of cancels out that baby hair, which is a bonus because it makes it even more glueless. You don't have to worry about bonding that um, ear tab down or that um, sideburn down. So here I'm showing you a powder that I love for the hairline. Typically the powder I put in the hairline to match my complexion is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. This one I got from Sephora and as you guys can see it's really rich in chocolate like my complexion but it's just a hint a little bit too rich for my complexion and it kind of will give me that casket 
fresh effect if I applied it as foundation. I'm going to go ahead and work on the hairline. I wanted to do a no baby hair look for you guys. You guys know I would have put a little bit of something in the front. But, you know, I've been doing baby hair a lot lately and I wanted to switch it up for you guys. Now, the hot comb. I've had plenty of people ask and inquire why I love the hot comb so much. Um, they've said they've tried it before and they don't get the same effect. Well, I'll be honest, whenever I was on YouTube and I first started seeing people use this, I had already tried it uh, years before I even got on YouTube and I thought I don't like it because what happens with this is it's not as hot and abrasive as a real hot comb so you really can't compare and when i say real i mean the one that you would put on a stove um it's a controlled temperature so it does not get as hot um it does not smoke the way the one um on the stove does so as you guys see and if you watch my videos the way i use it i will go over the same area multiple times i do not recommend you do this with your real hair but if you guys can see how the wig looked in the beginning and the transformation as i do so many heat passes on it and how slick and flat and sleek my hairline becomes this is why i love it so much usually if you do one heat pass you will not get the same effect but that made a huge difference in the way the hairline looks now this is what I'm talking about. I went ahead and added a little bit of adhesive. This is the Got To Be Glue which is a gel and it's not an actual hair glue. And I just put it right there just because you know I don't, this is my first time wearing this wig and I wanted to wear it all day and what I did not want is for it to slide back. I didn't really have that issue. I've had this wig, this wig for a couple of weeks now and I didn't have that issue but again I'm a creature of habit and I like to reinforce my wigs just to make sure by no means if I'm out and about I do not have to worry about my wig coming off my head. As I always say, whenever you are bonding a wig down, it is always great, especially with your non-glue adhesives, to use um, a blow dryer. I like to use mine on a cool setting, and this helps to kind of seal that in, lock it in, and it makes the hold super, super strong in a way that I feel like when it air dries, it does not get. Also, I want to mention to you guys, I do have a permanent coupon code with Hair Vivi. It's BDEC, and you'll enter that at checkout and get a discount. I believe it's $10 off. You can always use that one so it will not expire. Look how amazing this parting looks. This is what fake scalp gives you. It gives you real scalp realness in a real way. I will not have to add anything to it. I usually will add a concealer to the parting. And as you guys see, I just did my little victory dance because I love this part. Now I do, just like you guys, get um, a little bit frustrating with parting. Typically it takes me a couple times to get it perfectly straight and sometimes it's still not perfect. But that kind of is what is great about wigs. I feel like sometimes when it's imperfect it makes it look more natural. And of course, I'm going to chase that holding spray with my hot comb again. As you guys can see, I cannot live with this thing. I went on vacation and I did not have this. And my hair was just not the same. It makes a huge difference for my installs for me. It literally takes me from 0 to 10 in a way that a flat iron does not. The specs on this wig are it's 18 inches, 100 and they say it's 160. I'm not sure if that's a mistake. It's 180. I'll clarify and have that linked in the description box. Uh, the wig cap is a size small and the fake scalp color is light brown. And all of this works for me. Other tips and, you know, tricks about the fake scalp is that this is called the fake scalp pro and you don't have to worry about wearing a wig cap you don't have to corn roll your hair or your um you know your real hair down at all it literally is just a one-stop shop ready to go easy made wig and now i'm going to add that powder that i showed you just a minute ago and you guys see how it blends and meshes with my skin perfectly this wig is absolutely amazing Now this here is the ear taps or the sideburn area. As you guys can see, I got a size small in the wig and we have the piano keys elastic band attached. And this is what it looks like on. Now, 
you guys know I love my sideburns, but let's just be honest, on a day-to-day -day basis, I do not use adhesive. Even if it's got to be glued or bedhead or any of the other brands that I like, I do not like to use it daily just because I don't have the time to. So the way this wig is made where it doesn't have anything right there is perfect and ideal for day-to-day. -day. It kind of will blend, and you guys see, will see, I'll press out the hair in a way to kind of camouflage and cover and finesse that area. And as you guys can see, I'm going over that hairline again. Installing a wig for the first time typically is, I'm not going to say tedious, but I definitely take my time and I don't stop until I get it exactly how I want it. Here I am flat ironing the hair to go over the ear. I just want it so that when the wind blows, you won't be able to see my real sideburns simply because I probably won't be putting edge control on them. Again, I'm preparing this wig and styling it so that I can wear it on a daily basis and literally just put it on and go. I don't have to worry about the hot comb, this product, that product. I can get it, put it on, do a basic style. Even with having baby hair will help me to camouflage the hairline even more, but I won't have to use this hot comb and I will not have to bond it down on a daily basis I can just like flat iron the ends or you know add a little style to it as I need to but on a day-to-day -day base basis it'll be a minimal styling So now that the wig is installed for the most part, I like to just go back and primp and you know just make it you know perfect to my liking. I did decide to add a little bit of the got to be glued all the way around. Again, because I have no baby hair, I get a really self-conscious away the hairline looks. And I just wanted to make sure it was bonded down and filling and looking melted to the maximum capability, and that definitely did the trick. Now you guys can see the hair is straight, the hairline is perfect and flawless. Um, I'm going to add a scarf just to let that melt and bond down and you know just set as it should. And then I'm going to work on the ends. I did something different for the first time which was instead of doing a flat iron, I literally did a blowout. You guys know I love my Dyson. It came with many attachments, one being a really cool brush. And I've been seeing a lot of people on social media use a, bl a brush style blow dryer and that is what I wanted to do on this hair when I co-washed it I used the Aussie moist and I just co-washed it one good time just to kind of disinfect and make sure that everything was out of it I did wash uh, use the shampoo too I did forget about that but since we were in this pandemic I've just been a little bit more careful about using a detergent based product like a shampoo as well just to make sure that we're all you know I've covered all the bases and now I'm going in with the blower the blow dryer and i took my time with it i just wanted to see what it would do and it gave me the exact results i wanted of course you can run a, um the flat iron through it a couple of times and it'll make it even more silky you know straight i could have also added a serum i added no product as you guys can see it has a nice healthy sheen to it so i was super pleased with this hair again it did come from hair vv and i am super in love <laughs> As you guys can see, this one is giving nice, natural, healthy hair vibes. Nice and shiny. The hair is a beautiful 
texture it's like dark and rich and i literally had no complaints absolutely love working with hair vivi i have quite a few videos that i've done with this company and as you guys can see this one is everything the no baby hair look came out awesome so make sure you guys give their website a shot i have it linked in the description box including a coupon code for you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends stay safe stay happy stay blessed and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!